Y'all get ready. It's the hunt for Bolivar. Sometime during today, this live feed, either during or after, we're going to give out the clue for today's Hunt for Bolivar 2024. Y'all stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's time for Ask Me About Bolivar. You know, we do this show weekly, Wednesday mornings at 6 a.m. And here over the last couple months, um, even more, we're diving into the businesses, letting you know who the owners are, a little history on them, and history on the business, along with what the business offers. Um, for you, whether you're a homeowner, a visitor, maybe you're coming down for a weekend <clears throat> wanting to get more information. Today, we're here with Dan Priest of Priest Insurance Agency, and you've seen him on Monday afternoons at 4 o'clock on our shows talking about insurance, whether it's boat. I think a couple times we talk about shrimping and fishing, Every and once in a, while, a little bit of, of everything, course. but... Dan's been a big part of Team Bolivar and Priest Insurance Agency has been for several several years now. Um, he's also a sponsor of the Hunt for Bolivar, and we'll have that clue a little bit later on. But Dan, Priest Insurance, you've got forty plus years of ties to Bolivar mm -hmm. through your family. Yep. Uh, Priest Insurance Agency, located in Lumberton, but you do quite a bit of business down here. We're here and weekly, you're, yeah. And you're really educated on the coastal region. How did Priest Insurance Agency come about? Because you've got other uh, things that you've been in through life, right. uh, I think investments and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about how Priest Insurance Agency uh, started and how it's grown. Okay, that's. I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. <laughs> so yeah, I, I had a background in financial services. I worked for a company called many, many years ago called E.F. Hutton and uh, spent a few years with them. And then it just really wasn't my thing. It, uh, it didn't fit me. Uh, I had a finance background, but just wasn't happy doing it and looking for another, another career. Uh, I put myself through college in the seafood business. Okay. And I opened a seafood company in Houston and we had, a little, we had delivery trucks and we dispatched them over there. And some things occurred in that business. And then I had a kid and I was missing the financial services and I got a call um, from from an insurance company. And they began talking to me about getting back in the, the agency and some things that I'd learned about businesses before, I thought it would be a good option. So in 2000, 2000 um, we opened up Priest Insurance Company. We opened up an office in, in Lumberton and in Houston. And things, we had a couple of, couple, of, couple of offices going. I was very fortunate to have some great people working for me the whole time I've been in business. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the girls now. They are, they're pretty special. Uh, they're thought, family, aren't they? They are. Um, they are family. They, you know, when you, when you have people working for you for 15, 20 years, you get to be pretty close with them and you get to know a lot about them. I have one that, uh, son's just, just graduated from high school and who worked with me when the child was born. Yeah. So that, that's kind of a cool thing to be able to watch that happen. So yeah, we started in Lumberton, and then um, we, we we got we really focused in Lumberton when Hurricane Rita hit. Okay. If you remember that way back in 2005, mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of claims. It really devastated East Texas, and some things about the companies we represented. We did a Shay came back from mm -hmm. had no home, lived in Houston, commuted, and uh, our agency began to grow. We have insured a few houses and. In, on the beach, people that we had coverage mm -hmm. and we insured them on the coast and just kind of grew a little bit there. But uh, our business on the coast really uh, changed with Ike. It did for everyone, didn't it? It did for everyone. So, um, you know, it's kind of funny. We, we all knew about insurance. We knew about windstorm and we knew about flood and we didn't have a lot of policies down here, maybe 60 or 70 houses uh, prior to that. But I lost my house and the houses that we had were typically people I grew up with down here, um, friends that I had that had beach homes. Um, and I lost mine and they lost theirs and it caused us to just really dive into the coastal community. So um, in, in getting back, I know ours was, we had a building permit issued in 2000 beginning of 2009 mm -hmm. and started putting our house back and so from the beginning we we learned how to work with Galveston County 
Uh, we found things within the flood program and, and worked with people from this coverage called the ICC, which is in a flood policy. Mm -hmm. Worked with them with the ICC with the windstorm, uh, coordinated, coordinated helping them get back, and, and our business just began to flourish here. And it because, flourished. and that's priest insurance because you were helping people. We dove in. Yeah, you. They weren't just a customer; mm -mm. they were family. Yeah, and you know, and to to build back. Yeah, and, I, and I, without getting into Ike too much, um, when we came back down here, it, there was a dag nabbit. We're going to build back, kind of a. That was the attitude. Yeah, we're we're doing this. Yeah, we we don't care if we're we don't care what's going to happen. We're coming back. And um, we just worked with clients getting them back and it caused our business to really grow. And specifically here at the beach, but um, it's, it, it, it turned out to be a great thing and the community down here and being more involved than just having 60 or 70 houses right. is, is a different thing for us now. Well, and that goes back to what I've always said and I've heard other people talk about priest insurance the way they're treated and their care, you know, they don't ever feel like a customer. Well, it's, you know, and that's even, great to hear. Even me, whenever I, I've walked in there or, or Smiley pops in here, you know, it's like we're best friends. Well, I have a unique group of people to work for me. They're, they're, they're a lot. <laughs> they're <laughs> great though. They are. So, um, things that happen and you know, you have this business and you take an approach of, getting to know people and we always have taken a consultative approach to it but when you deal with the beach it's, it's even a different level because people from all over the state right they're from out of the state um, they have personal insurance wherever they live but they have their beach house here in a corporation mm -hmm. we have to know about you right we we need to know about you to insure you properly in talking about uh you my staff um my office manager shay has done this for a long time. She's the one that had the kid and watched him right. grow up. Runs and marathons. She does. Runs uh, marathons. She's. He does give her time off to go to lot. Boston or New York, wherever right. she went last time. But they, um, so she, she handles most of our business off the coast and she handles fire mm -hmm. um, type, homeowners type policies for us. And the young one you call Jamie, uh, Smiley. Smiley, yeah. Jamie. Jamie, um, really is perfect. She does a lot, helps me with a lot of our beach stuff. So when we started back down here, we had to know everything about the policies, the history of, of, of what we're doing and, and really dive in. And Jamie's kind of a bookworm. So she commits to- Is she a nerd? She, no. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> I love her to death though, man. I mean, it's, it's great when she pops in, you know, and we always, I always refer to her as smiley. I think, I, I think she takes policies home and like when she's getting ready to go to sleep and she reads them at night so she can go to bed. <laughs> but that's good. I mean, she that's knows. good for y'all because she knows that she knows background. inside and out yeah. and she'll know, no, this is the way it's got to be because of this and, and can explain it. Yeah. So you know, I'm really blessed with that type of thing. And then there's Desiree and Rachel that's, you know, the with us and, um, it's just been a good group of folks that I've been really, really fortunate to come about. And I'll say priest insurance is involved in the community down here too. You know, a lot of companies, you see them, they do business down here, but they really don't give back to the community that's, that's f helping fund them. And priest insurance does just like the, the hunt for Bolivar and the Texas crab festival and different things that you do down here. And to me, that shows commitment and longevity. You know, you're not just coming in here and priest isn't just coming in here to write policies. They're coming in here to be a part of the community. And you've got wow. 40 plus years down here as a family too. 72. 72. My dad, my dad uh, bought our first, bought our house down here. Yeah. And uh, so, so it's been a long time. And not just here, from here to Lumberton, the whole coastal region, Beaumont, a little bit of everywhere. So yeah, it's, 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 you know, we've got kids that are coming down here every weekend, every chance yeah. they get. And it's just, uh, it's kind of part of us. And it's just like, Many of you that are listening, when you come to Bolivar, the sand gets in your toes and it just kind of sticks there and it doesn't come out. And so there's a lot of that there's going a lot on of that. now. Yeah. So, well, we do this show every uh, 
Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. It's on our Bolivar Live TV. You can see other shows we've done about other businesses. Uh, we're actually in the tourism center because the wind and the tide was up a little bit today. One of the shows we just recorded, it was actually about flood, whether it's up, down, or wind driven. And right. so they're really educated and the girls that work in the office really know the policies inside and out. And Jamie's probably gonna kill me when I, she sees There's gonna be repercussions it. for this, yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, <laughs> for more information on priest insurance, or to have them come by your home, or if you have questions on an existing policy and you want them to just look over it to make sure you're covered, to see if they can help you out in a different way, please look them up online at www.priestinsuranceagency.com. You can email them from there. You can call them from there. Uh, they're really great. And Dan's down here at least once or twice a week taking care of customers. So Dan, thanks for joining us. Now y'all stick around. We've got the clue in this week's hunt for Bolivar, but we'll be back next Wednesday with another Ask Me About Bolivar and a local business from here on Bolivar Peninsula. Well, it's time for today's clue in the hunt for Bolivar. First, I wanna thank all the sponsors that make this possible. Without them, we couldn't do it. The presenting sponsor in this year's hunt for Bolivar is the big store, our Bolivar Peninsula Superstore. Thank you to Keith and Charlene and the crew at the big store for everything they do. Our weekly sponsors are Crystal Beach Decor and More, Bolivar Trash Company, Latitude 29 Surf Shop, Bolivar Live TV, West Canal Beach Buggies, Seaside Lumber, Swedes Real Estate, Priest Insurance Agency, Norma Smalley Realtor, and Island Liquor. Thank you to our weekly sponsors for everything you do. Well, we give out this clue every morning at 6 a.m. And today's clues for Wednesday, June 5th, 2024. Clue number two in this week's hunt for Bolivar. Orioles are black and orange high flyers, but the blue and orange are the ones setting things afire. Wednesday, June 5th, 2024, clue number two. Orioles are black and orange high flyers, but the blue and orange are the ones setting things afire. Remember, we'll have this clue up in the window of the Tourism Center by 7 a.m. We give out this clue during the feed or at the end of the feed. Until tomorrow and another clue, y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless and bye-bye.